वेलकम बैक टू अवर फिफ्थ एपिसोड आस्क डॉक्टर दोषी सीरीज टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन दैट आई हैव बीन आज सेवरल टाइम्स एज टू वाई इज द कॉस्ट ऑफ सर्जरी सो मच वाई इज द कॉस्ट ऑफ सर्जरी हायर देन सेंटर ए वर्सिज सेंटर बी we all know that we get what we pay for and that is also true in medical field every amount of additional benefit or safety that you get would always cost you an additional amount of money now let me break this down much in a much simpler form for deep brain stimulation surgery deep brain stimulation surgery is a very precise surgery involves implanting electrode in the brain in a blinded manner i do not open the brain to see where the electrode is going it's a blinded procedure and hence it is very important for me to be very accurate the second reason to be very accurate is that the place where this electrodes are implanted are surrounded by many important and vital areas which serve different kinds of function for the body the third important reason is that it is implanted in a very small area of the brain which is half the size of your thumbnail so it is like finding a needle in a haystack and then if you want to find a needle in from the hay then it is very important that you have desired tool for the needle it would be a strong magnet here we require many different equipments and obviously if your hospital that where you are going to get operated has invested heavily into this equipment then you can trust that hospital when you next time go for go, undergoing dbs surgery or consider evaluating deep brain stimulation surgery make sure you ask your doctor the question that do you have micro electrode recording machine in the hospital do you have your own stereo tactic frame or you are going to do this surgery on my brain on borrowed equipment what is the guarantee that a borrowed equipment will be as accurate because it is being used by 10 other people so that is one second important thing when you have to decide about the cost is about the experience we know that a lawyer who is just started his practice would charge you pittance but the guarantee for him winning your case is going to be zero or very minimal whereas why people hire the most experienced and most uh, 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 learned lawyers obviously because they have more confidence that that would help them win the case the same is for medicine you want to ask the doctor who is performing your surgery that how many surgeries you have performed it has been found by various studies that after performing only 200 surgeries your risk of complications go down the third thing that you want to know from your doctor is that whether he has been consistent consistency is very important if the same doctor has practiced at one place over and over again then he knows the good and bad of that place but if a doctor keeps on shifting his place he operates in one hospital today he operates in another hospital tomorrow he himself is not certain as to what is the quality of the equipment or infrastructure of that hospital if he moves from one hospital to the other his team keeps on changing and deep brain stimulation surgery is an outcome of a team and this is very crucial for a successful surgery once you have understood this requirement which form the basic of a successful deep brain stimulation surgery the next challenge comes is that after a successful surgery how do you handle this patients because parkinson's is an ongoing disease you are going to be suffering from parkinson's disease till your life and your disease would change every 3 to 4 years does your doctor or the team treating you have the experience to take you further down the road for next 10 years what is the experience in that programming have they understood how to program deep brain stimulation surgery how to manage the medical treatment of this patients how to manage the associated problems and neurological problems psychological problems psychiatric behavioral gynecological problems uro gastroenterological problems all these problems are many times associated with parkinson's disease and if the team working with the doctor is not trained to handle that your quality of life will that much suffer so overall cost is totally different thing price is totally different price is a one time one unit cost 
that is quoted by different people differently because the level of responsibility that they are ready to take is different so sometimes it is better to pay a higher price but that would turn out to be lower cost in long run to know in more details about what i have spoken or read again or recapitulate it you can follow or read the blog mentioned in the description